Rice Experiment Revisited. One month and three days. On here you can see it's the 3rd of September. It's now the 6th of October. They are both absolutely immaculate. This one I've been ignoring, and this one I've been saying that I love. And this one has created a ball. I know you can see that in there, guys. That's created a ball on top, where this one hasn't. So that one's become detached, you see? It's like a snowball. That one's curious. I haven't noticed that until until now, profoundly, and it's actually loose. And so, I will keep my eye on these, but this blows these rice experiments out of the water, when the one that you ignore is supposed to go there, and the one that you say you love is supposed to be beautiful. Well, in my beautiful apartment, everything's beautiful. Now, what I will say um, about my plants, all plants flourish in this apartment. They are all having an absolute whale of a time. And my cacti in there And I've got several plants in the living room. But when was the last time you saw a cacti like this? And the reason why it's like this and it's absolutely flourishing. Firstly, it's because it's in a loving environment. But secondly, because I give it natural light. But thirdly, I give it plenty of water. In actual fact, I barely let the soil go dry before I give it more water. And what it does is it sucks up the water and, and engorges its fronds. And so they're all firm and engorged because that's where it's storing its water. As soon as it gets water, it's like, I'll have that and I know what to do with it. I'm going to store it. And so they have it absolutely thriving in a beautiful, loving environment. And so what can we say about this rice experiment, guys and girls? Today, my daughter came around and I gave her three jars with uh, not cooked rice because it doesn't, doesn't seem to matter whether you do the cooked rice or you, you, you do, you know, uh, the dry rice uh, placed in water. So I gave her three jars with um, an inch and a half of rice and an inch of water on top. She's labelled one, I love you, she's left the other one and then she's told the other one that that one isn't welcome because it's a troublemaker. Because we decided that we don't want even to bring hate, the word hate, into the house. We're not allowed to say hate, are we, plants? Rice, we're not allowed to say that word, are we? No, 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 you see? Uh, we can curse and bluster, but we can't say those words. Because those words permeate and penetrate, and they linger around. So we really don't want to be saying them. And so she's going to see what happens. And already, you see, what she said is because you know, she can often complain about her life when she's got nothing to complain about, but I suppose it's a, a younger person's prerogative who's out of everything. They expect every single day to be perfect and beautiful, and when it isn't, it's, oh dear, the whole world's coming down on me, you know? Um, so, you know, she's laughing, oh, bring them to my house, they'll go black overnight. I said, if you want them to, they will. 
And if you say that, they most certainly will. Don't say that, okay? Give them a chance to thrive. Give life a chance. And then the reason why, you see, I'm giving her these rights, um, because I want to instill in her, not that she doesn't know it, but she's not really accepted it, that her way of thinking is uh, creating um, her to feel, you know, fed up on occasion. And so um, I don't ever feel fed up. I seriously do never ever feel fed up. It's never like, oh, what a world, you know, when am I gonna die? I, I absolutely love it. It's, it's, it's pure genius, it's bliss, it's incredible. You know, what, what possibly could I find offensive? You know, when we get, you know, pains and illnesses and this, that and the other. Not that, you know, I can complain about any of that really. Um, anything that I've ever had. Um, well, I've had, I've had seven years in the, in the dark night of the soul. Um, I never complained then. You know, I've had serious bad bouts of back and I never complained then. Uh, so I guess you, you could just say I'm not a complainer. Uh, I always look on the bright side. And I always will find something positive which vastly overrides whatever we could deem to be negative. So that's why I'm a natural wizard, because I'm an alchemist. I transmute whatever people could be considered or deemed to be negative into positive. Because at the end of the day, it's all energy, it's just how we interpret it. Remember that. Very, very important. Energy is given to interpretation. And if we go, oh, then that's what it's gonna be. If we go, great, that's what it's gonna be. So, I'll continue um, with the Ross experiment and we'll just see what happens. But um, I'm thinking that it's gonna be a positive outcome after over a month. It's getting on almost for 40 days. So, what can we say? Anyway, catch you two later.